of all human beings in this country towards our movement. So every event that happens to an individual you know that affects them, that's related to the corporatization, the manipulation of our government, we need to say there's a way to fight back, and that is us. And we need to get people to join us, not just you know, logistically, like, this is what we're going to do here, but just join us overall so that they're even speaking about us. Even if they're not here, they're thinking about it. We're on their consciousness. And then we may need to make it easy for them to come to us when they're ready. I think it's the best way that you get a movement moving. And I, don't, I think that all this semantics is dividing us individually, making us already think, well, I don't know if I like that guy over there or what he thinks. I think we really need to just say, everybody here, bring five people back the next time here and get those five people to bring five people back. And then when we have a thousand... Let's make some decisions. Yeah. Aaron, you're next. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to get back on stack because of something that you said earlier about um, being concerned about legality of things. And I think it's awesome that we're interested in the law and that we want to be consistent with the law. And I think that should be our general um, attitude. But say, having said that, the reason why we're here is because I think we realize that our laws don't necessarily reflect what's right. And I think that as the people, as the reason why we have a state, the reason why we organize ourselves to live, we have the right to say what's right. And so I think, you know, if we're doing something that seems reasonable to us, and if we demand that we articulate things at high level of principle, and that we seek consensus, we seek something that we can all get behind, I think we ought to be prepared to say the law is wrong and we're going to take a moral stance because we want the people, not just here in Buffalo, also in New York, but all around the country, all around the world, to feel empowered to start to move things in the direction of what's right. So to places like this, this is Niagara Square, this is opposite from the city hall. This is the center of the city. The point, the logic of places like this is for people to come out and say what they want. And that's really important that here we are talking about what we want and our instinct is to ask ourselves, is it legal and will we be attacked? And I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything, but I'm, I'm just pointing out, wow. wow, that's where we're at. That's where we, yeah, we've like the last 10 years, right? We have been repressed. We've been given this feeling that we're not supposed to speak up. We're not supposed to resist. You know, and even, even for there to be a protest, it's a shocking thing. And that's supposed to be normal. You know, the, the Tea Party keeps saying stuff like, the tree of liberty ought to be uh, watered with the blood of patriots. You know what? We ought to be able to protest without being arrested. Mm. I, I'm not even talking about blood. I'm talking about we should be able to make use of the laws that are on the books without being arrested. And we can't. If we come out and we say we want X, we're, at, we're treated like hippies. That's the first thing they say. Oh, look at the hippies in Wall Street. <laughs> exactly. You know what? I am a... <laughs> they attack us and they insult us for doing what is our right. You know, and our, our, our default has to be principle, right? And you bend to us. The state is supposed to bend to the will of the people, not the will of the people quivering before the state. Yeah. Right on. Slap that up. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! 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 Is there still a note taker? We had someone taking notes. I don't know if she's still here. Shit the bounce. Okay, uh, can I get a volunteer to help take notes? Do you have, if anybody has paper, I have some pen and paper. If anybody else does. Yeah, awesome. Can I, can I respond to what he said? I can, I can answer the stack. I actually, as a point of process, I have a really big list here for stack, and I'm wondering if anybody has any blocking objections to me starting to do weighted stack, so people who haven't spoken yet can speak first. Does anybody have any objections to that? Okay, because I, I am noticing that some people who want to speak are being uh, uh, are lower down on the list. So, with that in mind, I'd like Felicia, uh, you be next on stack. Okay, thanks. Um, I was just wanted to say that whatever we do, can we make sure it's like worker friendly? Because yeah. I do have a job, and it's like I work eight thirty to eight thirty. So, 
I need to be able to do something on the weekends or like nine to five is never going to work for me ever, you know? So that's all I wanted to say. Pavel? I know where uh, you went. Yeah, I, I agree with Alicia, but I also wanted to uh, go back to what Albert was saying and, uh, and Heron. Uh, I don't agree with, you know, staying here 24 hours a day just because it is getting cold. I agree with doing the shifts and, and doing it during the day, whenever when you know whenever you guys can show up. But I, I do agree with the shifts. Okay. Uh, anybody over here in the Olive Jack? What's your name? Kate. Kate. Um, I think we all are aware that Buffalo is a city of working class people. You know, you're not the only one. We're all we all have nine to five jobs, and we all want to be here. We all want to be doing things, but we can't. And we keep talking about. I mean, we can't be here all the time. Is what I mean. And we keep talking about outreach, but nobody's really put something forth yet. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm willing to start a Tumblr to uh, do a blog carnival. If anybody has their personal blog and they want to write something up. What's your name? Kate. I will take contact information. I'll give you my email. I will start a Twitter. I can, you know, if anybody wants to help me in that, I am definitely willing just to head that up. Okay? So contact me afterwards because let's actually start reaching out to people. We have to contact them. And yes, we have to keep meeting, and we have to keep organizing, and we have to keep talking about what we're going to do, but we also have to talk to people about how they can do it. You know, so if all we do right now is just write some things on the internet and pass them around, then that's a great way to get started. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, turn on the camera next to Kate. What's your name? Ed. Ed? All right, just a few things. Uh, first off, to reiterate, the law is not neutral. It's on the side of the 1%. The way to solve that is to get here on good principles that appeal to everyone, be extremely nonviolent, and make the state push us out. This is all about building affinity, and you do that by making a good victim, honestly. Uh, the next two things, focus and support. We need focus. This should be all about money and politics, because without that we don't solve any of the other issues that, that we care about as you know, creature, political creatures. We're all out here. Uh, focus, support. We need local labor, we need local student groups, we need the police on our side eventually by being nonviolent. But anyone else who was here for the Wisconsin Solidarity protest, people of our affinity, we got a ton of people out here for that. We can do it for here in October. But we need the support of local unions, local student unions, groups, working class people. Last thing, uh, and that could include maybe even reaching out as misdirected as many of them are to the local tea parties. Sure. They're misdirected. Yeah. But my God, they, they're working class people. They have the same problem. The Tea Party started anti-corporate. It was misdirected to be anti-state. But, you know, they agree with us on many on many things. Maybe worth being the first Occupy group to really reach out to them. Uh, the last thing, beware the Internet, especially social networking. All your friends are self-selected to be people who probably agree with you anyway. The way you really get attention going, well, first, it's good for getting people out here as allies. But if you really want to get attention going, you get on the news. Because that's why the people who may kind of agree with you or don't agree with you are going to see what you're about. Be very wary. I, I do outreach for a local nonprofit. Be very wary of the Internet and social networking because it's people who agree with you anyway. You're going to be talking in a circle. That's so We're also being followed. Okay. Right. Could I mean, we go over there. stack as it stands? I reformed a little bit to give preference to people who haven't spoken as much. Adam, Marina, Tim, Albert, Robert, Christina, Henry, Carly, John, and Josh. I just added you. <laughs> Sound good? So, Adam, wherever you went. Can anyone that's speaking really use their inner voice and really project themselves? Because I feel as if some people are not really being able to hear, hear you. But that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm really excited to hear that we have so many people here with capacities um, that involve being able to get the word out on internet spaces and web forums and other kinds of media like that. Um, I can't wait to see the different forms that all those productions take because they're always really creative um, and successful, I think. I think it should be a part of a more robust strategy for outreach. I can tell that's like one of our primary concerns here right now. And we have to remember that the things that we're protesting against, the people who are most disenfranchised and alienated because of the way things are, don't have the kind of access to the internet and those social medias that a lot of the people out here do. So we need to also find people with capacities in terms of being spokespeople for their neighborhoods, people with ties to their community that are face-to-face -face ties. We need to also build that in our own communities where we live, go to people's doors, talk to them, like shake hands, meet people, and go for that more analog, I guess, 
kind of outreach. I think that's how we're going to really grow numbers. Because a lot, something that's really been missing from a lot of these protests and these occupations and these other shapes that are taking uh, place across the country are like the poorest of the poor, the people really with nothing, the people who are subject to police violence every day on the streets because that's where they live. Like those people need to be made visible as part of our effort so that we appear a lot more universal than you know, because that's we really are universal like that, and we need to make that a visible component of our actions. I just wanted to say that. Marina. In regards to Facebook, um, you can never underestimate the impact that you're going to have on people that see what you put on your Facebook page. I have been bombarding my Facebook page. I am surprised that friends of mine haven't deleted me. They might have hovered over the button, <laughs> but they haven't done it yet. Um, because I've been so persistent, which is a calm way of putting it, um, somebody that I haven't even met that I became friends with on Facebook through a, a local friend of mine started commenting on what was going on over in New York City and the other areas, and he's a retired policeman. Well, he ended up going ahead and going to Costco and buying supplies and taking them down to the people over in New York City, which would never have happened if I didn't bombard my Facebook page. And I got a friend of mine over in Boston involved in the um, the Occupy Boston because it just started. She saw it, I said, for my Boston friends, and now she's involved in that. So, so never underestimate the impact that you have. Tim. Regarding focus... I'm not. There's different opinions about how soon it, we should focus and so forth, but I think, as the brother in the green hat in the back said, I think it'd be great if there's one thing that we agree with the Tea Party on. If we could have a 50-50, thousand Tea Party, thousand of us. Do do, do they agree on uh, no more corporate citizenship? There's libertarian reasons for that, right? Can we find a focus that that will? Uh, fertilize and help cultivate everything we want, you know, uh, that, 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 that that's more broadly shared. Is it possible that our friend here, I, I forget what your organization is, but... Move to Amend. Move to Amend. I mean, is it possible that this the Move to Amend could be the focal point for the Buffalo Occupy group, even if it isn't for everywhere else? I think it would really increase the chance of getting the right wing out here, and if the right wing and us are are standing together, maybe we'd quit demonizing them and they'd quit demonizing us. Finally, there's two people here to shoot the video really thoroughly, and I don't know who they are or what they're going to do with it. So would you please identify yourselves and tell us <laughs> what you're doing? <laughs> you're you talking about me? My yeah. Name is, my name's Ron from Stop Police Corruption. Um, you can uh, Facebook me. Did you just say no? Uh, Did you say that again? I there, there needs to be... Ron. Ron. There needs to be uh, people here with camcorders. This is the safest way to protect uh, from being arrested. All right? I've been arrested a number of times uh, uh, doing protests. So um, I suggest if anyone were to get arrested, it would cost probably at least $1,000 between the court case. So to invest in a camcorder for $500 with a... Uh, you know, a, a drive on it that that's, has a lot of memory, mm. it'd be, uh, you know, wise to do. Uh, Jeff O'Connell, um, I'm using this camera I borrowed from Squeaky Wheel in order to record the event, but... Point it at your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around while you're talking. Well, sure, yeah. <laughs> Jeff O'Connell, here with Squeaky Wheel, uh, borrowing their camera in order to record the event. I'm not quite sure how we'll be able to use this footage. But please give me some suggestions and feedback afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What cool. is Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's a media organization. Yeah. So, uh, response to my suggestion about the focusing on uh, the amendment? So that's a proposal? You're proposing yes. that we focus. Uh, is there something specific that you want to sit, like? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't expect it to pass, but I'd like, could... Uh, the and amendment corporate against corporate person. citizenship be the primary focus of of Occupy Buffalo. As an example, or the one right now? That's it. That's it. Okay. Can I can I just say something? I have posters here that if anybody wants to just look at what our posters are. If there's stuff here for because uh, we we um, jumped in and uh, we were at the Labor Day parade, so we made posters like this is just specific to move to amend. But I have um, a couple things here that we made up. 
that might be uh, corporation. Corporations don't bleed. That might not be specific to you, but we have any corporate rule. Um, money is not equal speech. Um, and I'm not saying these are the best posters. We, we made them up on the fly, but um, legalize democracy. <laughs> um, any of you, these that you like, you're welcome to use. Um, overrule the court. This is specific to Citizens United ruling, which is coming up on its two-year anniversary which is what got a lot of people involved with the Move to Amend group. Uh, exercise your democracy muscles, which I totally think is irrelevant to, irrelevant to this. And um, corporations, corporation does not equal person. All right. Yeah. So, cool. So, any of these that in the um, All right. Around so, similar to what happened last time, as in this vote, I'm going to go out and block. Are you going on stack or are you putting your vote, Aaron? Oh, I was going on stack. Yeah. Okay. So I see a, a block here from Nick. I'll just speak to why I would block that. Um, what, what's happening in New York is people are pressuring them to put out a very specific set of demands, and they're resisting that. And the reason that they're resisting that is because, for one, this is a huge, huge thing that we're tackling. We don't want to box ourselves in. We don't want to narrow the scope. I think focusing on message is very important, and we could narrow and get a laser-focused message. But as far as what our demands and what we're trying to accomplish, that's a really huge, complex web of stuff. So I would say I don't want to put any one demand. Uh, a big part of that, too, is that if we put out some demands that we think are kind of crazy and it's only halfway to where we want to be, what if they satisfy those demands and then we're only halfway to where we want to be and we've lost all the momentum to go all the way? So I, I want to say that like I am not for putting that as a specific central um thing for Occupy Buffalo, but that it is in addition to. So that's, that's my response. I want to hear Nick's block and then uh, see what our, our stack situation is. I think as simple as we can put it, as almost as vague as we can put it, the more likely we can get like Tea Partiers involved. These are people who are willing to come out. Tea Party people come out. They're politically active. Maybe we think they're misguided, but if we can bring them together just by saying, we're dissatisfied, you're dissatisfied. Let's like work together because there's something wrong here, and we can work together to try and fix this. Cool. Uh, are there any blo other blocking people that want to say something really fast? Ed, do you want to say something? Yeah, right. Real, right. Quick, real quick, it's just too early. It's too early to, to yeah. align yourself with anything. Let's let it let it build. So, if there's nothing else on that, I want to ask to to if there's a way you could reframe the proposal for how a uh, move to amend could be involved. So, so right now the proposal has been denied that it is the central tenet of Occupy Buffalo, but I think people are very much interested and, and very much in conjunction with what's going on. Okay, is, so let everybody think about it, and the next time we get together, uh, find some way to make, make make things work. Maybe that can be one little one little thought in the whole package. I mean, one, one thing that I can say as far as to rephrase the proposal is to have that as one of several means of outreach and one of several goals. So not to say that this is the central goal, this is the only thing that we're working on, but to say that this is an example of what we're talking about. Yeah, if right. I may, the words goal and demand have both come up, and protest, demands for protest, that's valid, good, let, let's, let's do them. But also, goals can be conceived of differently. She wants to be upside down. <laughs> She's kind of a contrarian. I don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> So goals and demands, two different things, both good. Uh, let's advance with both of them clearly in mind. All right. So we're back to we're back to regular stack. I've added a couple folks: um, Albert, Robert, Christina, Andre, Henry, Carly, John, Josh, Nicholas, Heron, Jean. Guy, the Sabres hat. What's your name? Uh, I was going for the mini stack. Okay. So, so you want to take off? Uh, and yeah, it looks like that's it. So Albert. So I wanted to make a point about language. Language is a really important part of colonialization and globalization of capital has been the co-opting of language. So it's very important that we, uh, that we speak symbolically when we speak, when we interact with others, when we're talking to media. And what I mean by that, for example, one of the things that I think the Wall Street protesters have right is this idea of the 1% and the 99%. Yeah. And every time somebody asks you why you're here, it's very, very simple. Yeah 
because I'm the 99%. We That's why I'm here. You know? Woo! It's very important to keep that message. That's a global message is starting to come out, and it's a very good one, and it's one that resonates across political boundaries. You know, we're just having this conversation about should we, you know, how can we interact with the right? It's very easy to interact with the right when you start talking about things like ending the Fed and, and ending some of these ridiculous, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, invasions in our in our um, in our rights or taking our rights away. The, the right is all over that. That's the kind of stuff that we're, we we share. The, the move to amend is something that I've heard people on the right talk about. So, so language is very important. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is just some more proposals for actions. Um, that we could do together. Last year, a group of us had a Buy Nothing Day action at the Boulevard Mall. Where we, that was the day after, you know, Black Friday, the day after um, Thanksgiving. We had a, we protested consumption, and we were on the news. We made it on the news for that. So that's that's an example of something we could do. Uh, Columbus Day, just before that, is a gr great example to so sh uh, uh, show support for Indigenous people and their struggles. Um, there's a lot of examples of things that we could do together. I think this uh, move to amend is a wonderful thing, and I think as a committee we might want to form a move to amend committee and try to think of ways that we could uh, take an action to support that. But I think we really do need to come out of here with an action and at least another date today. So I'm proposing right now that we at least come together right now before people start. And we're all, we've already lost several people. Whoops. We come together with our next meeting date. Yes. Do you have a date yeah. and time proposed? I, I don't have one proposed. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in proposition, so. A week from today? October 15th. I think that's too long. Yeah, it's too long. Yeah, I want to do an action. But it's next that week. Day, so I want to have a meeting before then. Um, who, who's on stack? Where is Kaden? I'm up here now so I can actually see everybody. <laughs> Um, although this is kind of weird and creepy, actually. I might change my mind about being here. <laughs> um, Don't do cry we, for me. What's that? Don't cry for me. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I start a stack for talking about our next meeting? Yes. yes. Andre, Henry, Mark, what? Okay, an order. Okay, Friendly. all right. That's so that way we're not all shy. Over here? Okay, sorry. Pardon me. Lisa? Anybody else? Jim. Jim and Suzanne? Anybody else? I think my topic that I'm going to talk about now is that we're going to do Pardon? I think my topic is probably... Are we going to still go on the old... Uh, yeah, we're going to go back to stack in a second. Okay. Um, Jim, Suzanne... Anybody else for next date of meeting? Uh, Andre, go for it. Um, and Johnny? I think a week from today is good uh, for a meeting of this kind. Um, I don't think we should uh, we should preempt some sort of uh, any sort of other actions that aren't decision making processes before next week. You know, if people want to get together and you know pass out flyers, do a little march, whatever. I think that's uh, okay if that's done in an individual or small group decision making uh, system. But I think uh, this time next week for our next official decision-making meeting. Same time, same place. Same time, same place. Okay, it's good doing. Cool. Um, what else is on stack? Henry, you're actually next. Time. Okay, uh, I'm with him. I I would say make a proposal that every Saturday, I mean, say two o'clock. It seems to work for people every Saturday. Have a uh, as far as one specific date in the future, I would go with next week. I personally will not be here, um, but um, I'd like to see this going. Uh, I've done it before the day of action. It's already being spread all over the world. Is Saturday, October 15th. That's two weeks. So personally, I'd like to, like, this right here is the Buffalo General Assembly. I agree completely with Andre. There should be every day, all over the city, there should be stuff happening every day. This is like the general, all the different groups and all the different ideas and everything. Could come together, and so I propose. Uh